Hello everyone, I'm Kelly McKinney and this is A Note of Brilliance, the only show on the internet that is this show. And this week, we're going to take a look at 2006's Failure to Launch, ranking well below the required 55% on Rotten Tomatoes for its critic score. We're going to take a look for that one scene where the background noise made it brilliant. I absolutely hated watching this movie, both when it very first came out, as well as to re-examine it for A Note of Brilliance. But there is just one scene that stood out. For those of you who don't know, Failure to Launch is a romantic comedy starring Matthew McConaughey, hey, hey, and Miss Sex in the City herself, Sarah Jessica Parker, as well as a whole list of other great actors, all in incredibly flat roles. The movie is ironically titled Failure to Launch, as that is precisely what it failed to do in my heart and mind. I myself have never found physical comedy particularly entertaining, and this movie has a lot of that. <laughs> Critics landed this movie at a well-earned 23% on Rotten Tomatoes and a not-so-surprising 52% audience approval rating. Despite an all-star cast, the conflict and premise in this movie is so forced it makes it hard to relate to anyone. But this isn't about blame. It's about finding a solution. Again, this movie was really hard for me to watch and it wasn't until the scene that we're going to examine that I finally felt like I got a break from the movie. So without further ado, let's check it out. Trip. You see what's going on upstairs? Pop's naked in his naked room? I know, he's always wanted one. After a naked and voluptuous Terry Bradshaw graces the screen in gangster fashion, we finally get a moment with the two greatest actors in this movie, and it really shows. You okay? Yeah, just came by to pick up some gloves. The scene begins with Tripp grabbing a few things from home while Kathy Bates folds laundry. The awkward tension is subtle, but you can feel it. It's palpable. The dialogue between mother and son here is very believable, and it shows us the closeness between the two. Bringing an underplayed issue, empty nest syndrome, to the surface just long enough for Kathy Bates to show us what she can do. The background music is beautiful, albeit typical rom-com composition. But it isn't at all wasted, as Kathy takes a small moment and plays it perfectly. This scene not only makes the movie brilliant, but also kind of bites it in the rear, because it exposes not only the best parts of this movie, but more importantly, what it could have been. Given the tragic backstory on Trip and the complex relationship with his parents, this could have been a real drama romance with some real impact and meaning, and it could have done much better. Empty nest syndrome is something that people really go through, as is the death of a loved one. This alone, keeping the family under one roof, and that, combined with Tripp's past, is reason enough why he wouldn't let anyone get close, and why some women would judge the situation rather harshly. From here, you frame it as a love story. Boy meets girl, girl falls in love, guy with troubled past tries to distance himself and self-sabotage. Having him at home becomes the conflict. Mom is on her son's side and doesn't really like the woman, and dad is on the woman's side and wants Trip out of the house. And so when she sees that he's still living at home with his parents, since she's already fallen in love, she instead tries to encourage him to leave, genuinely. You start and end with almost the same story, except for the real life relatable elements aren't downplayed for laughs and intercut with physical comedy. Did you just kind of pick out the scene, say it was great, and then just go into like a long review of what it actually, is this some sort of backhanded review? So, for bringing Kathy Bates and Matthew McConaughey together for a truly touching scene in an otherwise boring and cringeworthy film, we take a look at Failure to Launch and we say, Brilliant! Thanks for watching, bye. Was it as good for you as it was for me? Like and subscribe for more content. And also, do not be afraid to check out our Patreon.